Hey guys, Marco here. Welcome back to another finger picking lesson. Today I want to show you how to play this lovely finger style melody. We are combining a lot of different elements, a beautiful chord progression in A major. But also a lovely melody played along with the percussive technique, the thumb slap and the thumb slap and strum. Of course, guys, we're going to keep things step by step. I'm going to show you how to play the chord progression and then we're going to add the melody and then the percussive technique. Now, the chord progression is very simple. We have an A major chord and I'm always going to pluck the strings like this. We're going to have the G uh, string played with the index, the B string with the middle and the top E string played with the ring. So the first chord is the A major chord. I'm only playing the fret 6 and fret 5, nothing on the B string. And then the A major 7, which is played with the fret 6, 5 and 4. The bass note is always the A. And then we change chord, we play the B minor chord, a B minor 7 chord with a bar chord on the fret number 2. And then the fret number 4 on the D string and the fret number 2 on the B string. We can also play the top E string, still fret number 2. Then we have the E7 chord, which is played like this. We are playing obviously the low E string, and then the fret number four, three and four. We're gonna move the voicing of this chord quite a lot. In fact, we will go from this position to the um, same chord, but with the E string fret number two, we have to reorganize the fingering and play like this. It's four, three and two. But also with the top E string open. So it's an E7 chord, then an E9 chord, or a B minor chord with low E string on the bass. And E7 again. And we finish with the A major, which could be played like this. Then the B minor with fret number two and three. And the E major with just open strings. So it's very simple to play. So step number one, familiarize yourself with the chords, like this. One and two and three and four, the A major seven and the B minor seven, two and three and four and one, two, the E seven and then we change the voicing and one and two and three and the A major and the B minor and two and the E. Of course, when we add the melody, things are a little bit more rhythmic. In fact, we're gonna play like this, the first two chords. So I'm gonna start with the A major chord. Then I have the bass, and then the melody on the top E string. It's just three notes. And then I have the bass again, and then the A major 7 chord, just with the index and the middle finger. So I'm only plucking the G and the B string. Then the bass again, and then the melody on fret number 4 and 5. Now the B minor chord, I'm going to approach the B string fret number 3 with a hammer on. So I'm going to play the fret number 2, a hammer on on the fret number 3, and then the E string fret number 2. Then we have the bass, bass again, and bass again. And then we have the chord with just the D, the G and the B string with another hammer on and then the E string, fret number two. So when I put the whole thing together rhythmically, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now the next chord is the E7, which is probably the most straightforward. So we put down the E7, we pluck the strings simultaneously, then the bass, then the chord, and then the melody on fret 3 and 2, and the bass again, and just the chord with the index and middle finger, then the bass, the chord again with index, middle and ring, and then we change the voicing again with the E string open. Lovely chord. We finish with the A major. We're gonna approach the B string fret number two with the, uh, a slide from fret number one. 
and then the E string open, and then the bass, bass, and then the B minor on fret two and three, E string open, the B string open, and then the low E string with the E major chord, and the E string open. So when I put the whole thing together, There is a pickup bar before we play uh, the chords and the melody. The notes are this one. And then we play the first chord. It's a simple phrase. We have the fret number two on the G string. And then on the B string, fret number one. A quick hammer onto the fret number two. The E string open. The fret number two. And the E string open. It's quite bluesy line. And then we play the first chord. Now, of course, we can change things up a little bit and play the melody in a slightly different way. So we're gonna play it like this. The chord progression is the same. We are just embellishing the melody a little bit more. So we're gonna play the chord, then the bass, and then the melody starts on the E string for number nine, seven, five, and four. And then the bass, the chord, just with the index and the middle finger, and the bass, and the melody again on front number seven, four, five on the B string, and down to the fret number three. Always on the B string, and we change chord. B minor chord, uh, we play the bass and then the top three strings, then the bass, and then the chord again, but on a different set of strings, the D, the G, and the B string. And then we play the chord again twice. So rhythmically, it sounds like this. Now the E7, which is pretty similar to the other one. We only change the last chord, we go back to the fret number four. And we finish with this turnaround. So we're playing the A major chord on fret five, E string open. And then the F sharp major with the fret number two and fret number three simultaneously. E string open. And the B minor chord with the B string fret number two. The A string fret two, E string open. And then the E major with the E string open, sorry, the B string open. Low E string, E string open. And we finish with the G string fret number two, the note A. And then the bass. And then the same phrase we played at the beginning. And then the beautiful A7 chord, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0. I strum all the way to the B string, and then the E string. So when I play the whole thing rhythmically, Once you get familiar with this uh, melody, you can then add the thumb slap and the thumb slap and strum. The thumb slap is always on the second beat and the thumb slap and strum always on the second off beat. So we're gonna play the chord progression like this and the melody. With the thumb slap, we strike the bass note um, to create this lovely, you know, slappy tone. With the thumb slap and strum, we also, so we do the thumb slap, but we also uh, strum one or more strings. For example, this 
as you can see in this uh, example, the first chord, I'm playing the chord, then the thumb slap, bass, the melody, and then the second note of the melody is played with the thumb slap and strum. So I have the percussion, but at the same time, I'm also striking the string with the middle finger. Thumb slap, melody, and then on the fourth count, thumb slap and strum. Now, of course, we're gonna play a lovely B section, meaning we're gonna add an additional section to the melody. And after the A7, we're gonna open up with this beautiful D major seven chord. So we're gonna open up with this beautiful D major seven chord, just a bar chord on the fret number two. We're gonna strum the chord lightly, then we're gonna have the bass and the melody on fret number two and five. Then we're gonna strum this position or we can arpeggiate this chord again. And then the melody on the fret number four, D string open, then the fret number two, four and open. So the next chord is the A major 7 chord. We're gonna play like this. A string open, then the fret number two, one, two, and the E string open. Now I'm gonna start with the bass. So it's bass, bass, and then the chord just on the D, G, and B string, and then the E string open, then the bass again, and then we're gonna have the A7 chord. So we're gonna get rid of the fret number one and just strum this chord lightly all the way to the fret number to the B string yeah from the A string to the B string and then the E string open so when I put the whole thing together rhythmically we're gonna do it again just the same thing Now the last section. So we have the same D major 7 chord, then the bass, the melody on fret number 4, and then a beautiful D minor chord played on fret number 7, 6 and 5 with the bass on the D, then the bass, and then we have the melody on fret number 5 and 7, and then the A major chord with the melody on fret number 9. Five, five on the B string and six on the G string. The F sharp major chord, beautiful sounding chord with two, three, two and two. Then the bass, the B string for number three, the E string open, and then the B minor chord with the hammer on, the E string, and then fret two and four, fret five, and we finish with this beautiful chord E, the bar chord on the fret number seven, and the E seven chord. And with the turnaround. Enjoy this lesson, I'll see you soon.